everyone. This is Karen. Hey, everybody. I am Shane. Today we're looking at part two of Katy Perry. Life, love, and music. That's right. And the vocabulary words are support. Support. It's nice to know that you will always support me. Not always. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay. Assist. Assist. In her free time, Michelle assists her parents at their family's shop. Oh, that's so nice. Fashion. Fashion. Joe read a fashion magazine on the subway. Effect. Effect. The government has sent the army into the town to help people affected by the typhoon.、Mm. Announce. Announce. Did they announce who won the race yet?、Mm. Okay, so we're still talking about Katy Perry. Yes, and I think the, her her first big hit was the song that I was singing before. Do you remember? I kissed a girl. I, I like, like it. it. Oh, I、yeah. really like that one. That was a really popular song. What's your favorite Katy Perry song? Oh, I love Roar, and I、oh. also love. Firework. Oh, I like Firework a lot too. Yeah, that's a really good song. That's right. She's had a lot of hit songs, right? And it has such a, like a strong message in her lyrics. And then when you listen to her music, it really uplifts your spirit. You know, it's like wow. That's right. And she helps to uplift the world, doesn't she? She does a lot of charity work too. Yeah. So I know she helps、um, with education for like African children. That's right. And、Jeff. people who suffer from cancer, right, and HIV, HIV and AIDS. That's right.、Mm. And what else is there? I remember. Oh, also, she, you know, her fashion line. She's、oh, also donating、right. money to the families that were affected by COVID nineteen. Yeah, like ten percent of all of her profits go to people helping people with COVID nineteen. I know she does a lot of goods in the society. Yeah, so she's a very uplifting person. So listening to her music. Is enough to help people going through struggles, isn't it? And also, her music definitely makes you smile. It sure does. So go out and get her new album. Smile. Katy Perry, Life, Love, and Music. In 2008, Perry scored her first hit with "I Kissed a Girl." Two years later, she came out with "Teenage Dream," an album that produced five number one singles. This was followed by 2013's Prism, which featured the hit single "Roar," a song about self-empowerment, a common theme in Perry's music. Besides her music, fans love Perry for her stage performances. From riding giant robot lions to flying through the air, Perry always does her best to send her fans home entertained. Today's lesson is called Katy Perry, Life. Love and music, part two. Hello, everyone. My name is Jeff, and I'm Mike. And yes, we're reading about mega pop star Katy Perry. She started off as a young person, heavily involved in the church, maybe starting a career in gospel or Christian music. But then she decided pop was where she really wanted to make her mark. She hit L.A. and no one really cared. Unt it, until it took, it took a while to get a record contract, and, and then in 2007,、yep. she did get that record、mm -hmm. deal, and her career took off. It、oh, wasn't、yeah. long until she hit. The big time. Yes, in 2008, Perry scored her first hit with "I Kissed a Girl." I remember this particular song, and when it came out, I was just about to get into graduate school. Actually,、oh. that was the song that was on the radio. Very interesting. And the hits just kept coming. Two years later, she came out with "Teenage Dream," an album that produced five. Count them. Five number one singles. Now we're talking pop music success. Having the number one song is a big deal. Having five number one songs, the most popular song in the land for that week, is a big deal. Having five from the same album, which probably has only ten songs、sure. on it, and about half of them go to number one, that is incredible. What a success! And that wasn't it. She just kept on rolling. Yeah, there was Teenage Dream, and、mm -hmm. then two. 2013. In 2013, she released another fantastic album. Yes, Teenage Dream. This was followed by 2013's Prism, which featured the hit single "Roar," a song about self-empowerment, a common theme in Perry's music. Yeah, 
You're gonna hear me roar, I believe, is the uh, the refrain from that song. Oh, 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 oh. And you're gonna hear me roar. Wow. Again, I'm sure she's That's amazing. Beethoven. You sound just like <laughs> Katy Perry. No, I don't. And if she were dead, she'd be rolling over in her grave. No, 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 no. Just like uh, she, Beethoven. She's, she's on the phone, I'm sure, okay. calling you for a duet. Anyways, yeah. besides her music, Fans love Perry for her stage performances. Yeah, her stage shows are very famous, very popular. Even people who don't necessarily love the music would probably be very entertained at one of her live shows. That's what we mean when we say a stage performance. What kind of things might we see at a Katy Perry show? Very, very simple. It's usually just a stool, and mm -hmm. then Katy Perry no. comes out. No, she's no, got no, a no, guitar, no. and she's no, alone, no, no. sitting out there. No. 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 That couldn't be further from the truth, mm. from writing giant robot lions. Here's my money, I wanna see that. <laughs> giant robot lions to mm. flying through the air. That's pretty cool. Perry always does her best to send her fans home entertained. Yeah. You ride giant robot lions and you fly through the air, you got the, the dancing sharks there, oh mm -hmm. my gosh. She's quite the entertainer. Her stage performances are legendary. All right, so let's ride our giant robot lions to the break, and then we'll be back. Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny。我们在第一天的课文读到 ，Katy Perry 的音乐事业呢，一开始并不顺利，直到二零零七年才跟唱片公司签约，事业开始起飞。那么现在他是一位非常成功的流行乐歌手。Mike 老师在开场的时候用到 mega 来形容他 ，m e g a mega 这个字它有巨大的意思，也可以去形容非常重要的、非常成功的或者是非常受欢迎的。好，那么 Katy Perry 她陆陆续续推出几张很成功的专辑，老师们也哼了其中一首热门歌曲是 Roar， 就是听我吼这首歌，同学们有听出来吗？不晓得 Katy Perry 她听了 Jeff 老师歌声是想找他合唱，还是会想要告他呢？好，老师们刚刚在开玩笑有讲到这个 duet， D U E T。Duet 表示二重唱或是二重奏。好，那么课文就接着写到说，除了音乐，歌迷们也喜爱佩瑞的表演，从骑着巨大的机器狮子到在空中飞行。Katy Perry， 她总是卯足全力来让粉丝开心的回家。那这边有两个重点，第一个是 from A to B， 它表示从 A 到 B， 像是 The shop sells everything from T-shirts to laptops。那间店什么都卖，从短袖上衣到笔记型电脑，应有尽有。第二个重点是 do one's best， 它表示全力以赴、竭尽所能。例如 ，I'll do my best to help them， 就是说我会竭尽所能的帮助他们。这句话课文中。Katy Perry, life, love, and music. But Perry aims to do more than just entertain. Over the years, she supported organizations dedicated to assisting African children with education. Helping people suffering from cancer and HIV/AIDS, and stopping animal cruelty. In April, Perry said that 10% of every shoe or handbag sale from her fashion line, Katy Perry Collections, would go to families affected by COVID-19. Folks, this much is for certain: Perry is quite the entertainer. Her stage performances are super entertaining, but. Perry aims to do more than just entertain. Ah,、oh, all right. So let's turn to some of the things she does away from show business. Some of the things she likes to help out with. It says over the years she's supported organizations dedicated to assisting African children with education, helping people suffering from cancer and HIV/AIDS. And stopping animal cruelty. There is not、Yay. a good cause out there that she doesn't want to help out and support. There you go. Cancer, HIV, AIDS, and animal cruelty. She is supporting organizations that want to do away with these things or to alleviate suffering due to these things. Well done, Katy Perry. By the way, if you support something, okay, in this case, you give help to that thing. So that something can occur, so that something can survive, etc. So there are organizations that want to help people out, people with cancer, HIV/AIDS, that want to stop animal cruelty, and she's providing them help. 
assistance, maybe even money, so that these organizations can stay open or do their job better. For example, it's nice to know that you will always support me. You'll always be there for me. You're going to help me get through my life. Thank you, wife of mine. Well, that's great. So if you're supporting someone, you're helping them. If you're assisting someone, <gasps> You're, You're helping, helping them. them. It's basically the same thing. I would say assist is a little more direct. If your friend in America is having a tough time, you can support them on the phone by talking to them or sending them messages like, "You can do it. I believe in you." If you assist someone, it might be a little more hands-on, like you're maybe giving them money or you're actually helping them in the work. You know, for example, in her free time, Michelle assists her parents at their family's shop. Okay, more on Katy Perry and all the good that she's doing in、mm. April. Perry said that 10% of every shoe or handbag sale from her fashion line—yes, she has a fashion line called Katy Perry Collections. Yes, 10% of every shoe or handbag that she sells, 10%、mm -hmm. from her sales, they're going to go to, or they would go to, families. Affected by COVID nineteen, so、That's、there you、great. go. Cancer, HIV, AIDS, helping neglected animals, and also COVID nineteen. She's covering all of her bases. By the way, when we're talking about fashion, usually we're talking about clothes or things that are cool for now. Fashion always changes. What was cool and in and chic before. Won't stay that way. New clothes come along. New styles come along. Fashion changes. Yes, here when we're talking about fashion, we're talking about cool clothes and stuff like that. So she's got a fashion line. She produces fashionable shoes and handbags, and every season she'll produce new stuff, new lines of fashion. Anyways, Joe read a fashion magazine on the subway. I could tell because. Every page was a picture with someone in nice clothes, like Vogue or Elle or something like that. Glamour magazine.、Mm. All right. Well, fashion is a big business. A lot of celebrities are in it, and giving away ten percent of the money you make off everything that could add up to quite a lot. That's so, like tithing. Absolutely.、Well, kind of. If you buy a hundred dollar pair of shoes, ten dollars will go to one of these good causes. Covid nineteen and helping those families who have been affected by the pandemic all around the world. So to affect is to have an impact, to change something in some kind of way. All right. So if you don't eat, what effect will it have? Well, later in the day you'll feel hungry. You might be in a bad mood. You might get a headache. If you don't sleep enough, it will affect you the next day. You have no energy and oh, everything's、mm. so hard. So certain things will have an effect. Will Change something, an effect with an e. That's the noun. Affect, one we're talking about here with an a. That's the verb. So if something is changed. It is affected. For example, the government has sent the army into the town to help people affected by the typhoon. People whose houses have been knocked down or the water is too dirty to drink. They've been affected by the big storm. There you go. All right, folks. With that, it's time for a break. But don't go away. We'll be back with more after this. Katy Perry 的音乐事业很成功。那么课文写到说，但他的目标不只是娱乐。这边有两个重点。第一个是 aim to 加原形动词，是表达目标是什么，计划要怎么样。像是 Derek。Aims to lose ten kilograms. Derek 计划要减掉十公斤。那第二个重点 ，more than just 什么什么 ，more than just 加名词就可以表达不仅是什么。例如 ，she's more than just a pretty face. 她不是只有长得好看而已。那课文接着写到 ，Katy Perry 多年来支持了许多组织。这些组织有的是在帮助非洲儿童受教育，有的是关于停止虐待动物等等。那这些机构帮忙改善或者是减轻了这些痛苦折磨。Jeff 老师这时候用到 alleviate 这个字是表达减轻、缓和。那我们来拼一下 ，A L L E V I A T E alleviate。Alleviate 就是减轻缓和。那么今年四月 ，Katy Perry 表示要把她的时尚品牌销售额的百分之十
，捐给受到新冠肺炎影响的家庭。这样老师说，哎，捐百分之十，这听起来有点像十一奉献哎。老师说到这个 tithe， 他说 tithing， 那我们来学 tithe 这个字 ，t i t h e， tithe 就是指十一奉献，把收入的十分之一捐给教会。好，那我们再来看四个单字 ，support。Support 是动词，表示资助、支持。那么 assist，assist assist 这个动词表示帮助、协助，在后面加上 a n c e 就会变名词 assistance， 表就表示帮助、协助喽。再来看 fashion。Fashion 它是指时装、时尚或是流行。我们在字尾加上 a b l e 变成 fashionable， 就可以形容流行的。我们其实也可以用到 chic 这个字 ，c h i c chic 可以形容时髦的。好，下一个单词 affect affect 它是动词，表示影响。接华课文中 ，Katy Perry Life Love and Music Earlier this year. Perry and actor Orlando Bloom announced the birth of their daughter. So far, Perry is taking on motherhood with the same confidence that has helped her become one of the world's top performers. Okay, Katy Perry. Let's learn a little bit about her personal life. Get this: earlier this year, Perry, Katy Perry, and actor Orlando Bloom. Announced the birth of their daughter. So、Aww. there's a little Katie on the way. How cool is that? Anyways, here it says that Perry and Orlando Bloom announced something. If you announce something, you publicly say something. You publicly state things because you want people to hear these things. For example, did they announce who won the race yet? So. Maybe you go to a track there, and the ponies are running, the horses are running, and oh, there's a photo finish. It's not clear who won. You might wait for the announcer to announce who won. Yes, this horse won. The number twenty-nine horse won. You might even hear it on. You might even hear it over some speakers there, one way or another, to announce something. You're saying something so that everybody hears it. It's big news. That's why you want the world to know. Yeah. So with her pop career, her new album, all of her work with charity, now she's got a kid at home. Oh my gosh, what a busy life! But don't worry. It says so far, Perry is taking on motherhood with the same confidence that has helped her become one of the world's top performers. She is roaring through those. Diaper changing sessions. Oh 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 oh! Oh, what a smell! You really think that she changes diapers? Yes, I do, because she's a normal I, person. I, I, okay, folks, let's go ahead and ask and then answer the what do you think question. Mike, what do you think?、Mm. What qualities have helped Katy Perry succeed in her career? Good question. I think Katy Perry found success because she believes in herself and she seems like a generally positive, nice person. You know, you don't hear、True. a lot of Hollywood gossip about her. You don't see her kind of, you know, getting in fights with everyone. I think she had a little fight with、uh, Taylor Swift a while ago about someone stealing someone's dancers away, but they made up. I remember there was a story about how them they hugged and they forgave each other. So she seems. Seems just like a fairly normal person who is also a big star, but maybe being level-headed and keeping her feet on the ground has helped her find her way through all the different problems of being, you know, a super world famous pop star.、I、couldn't have possibly said it any better myself. All right, folks. With that, it's time for us to take a short break. Actually, it's time for us to end our entire lesson. Oh, oh no! But hey, more fun will be coming up next time on live. Interactive English magazine. Can you sing again, or Katy Perry? Not a chance. Oh. Katy Perry is a very honest and very loving person. That just now, Mike 老师用到 keep one's feet on the ground 来描述他。字面意思是使双脚保持在地面上，站稳脚步。引申表达说，脚踏实地，理性务实，也就是有自知之明，不至于得意忘形的语义。那么老师还有用到 level-headed。L E V E L H E A D E D, level-headed, 可以用来形容说是头脑冷静的、沉稳的。
。好，那么今年三月 ，Katy Perry 她有发表新歌，那么在 MV 里面，她就摸着怀孕的肚子向大家宣布喜讯，她和演员奥兰多布鲁将要有一个孩子，那这让歌迷们感到非常的惊喜。好，从她对表演这样的用心，我们可以相信她一定会是个很棒的母亲。老师们开玩笑说，她可能会一边唱着自己的热门歌曲，一边换尿布。那么 diaper 就是尿布，我们来拼一下。D I A P E R diaper， 好，在课文的单词 announce announce， 这是指宣布、公布，它是当动词用。好，那么以上是这个讲解，同学别走开，马上回来哦。Hello， 各位同学，大家好，我是季安老师，我们来看一下今天的简短对话。我们今天要做一个练习啊，我们看一下三个题目。第一个 ，What happened to the female speaker？ 女生。讲者就是女生啊，发生什么事情？所以一开始一定会有她很不开心的事情吧，或者是她觉得抱怨的事情啊。A someone push e d her， 有人呢去推她。第二个 ，someone spilled food on her， 有人在她身上撒食物。C 呢 ，someone closed the door on her， 有人关她的门。最后一个 ，someone stop her from getting off the train， 有人呢就是阻挡她不能下车。OK。第二个 ，What does the male speaker imply the female speaker did wrong？ 这女男生啊，他暗指女生哪里做错了。OK， 所以呢，是 A shout someone， 他是去推人家 ，block the train door， 挡住火车门 ，speak to him rudely， 跟他粗鲁讲话，就是讲话没礼貌，还是最后 stay in the middle of the train？ 嗯，在火车当中，中间。第三题 ，According to the male speaker, who was actually being rude? 那他说，其实真的没礼貌的是谁呢？那我们来听听看，到底他是讲谁？哈，来。I'm so mad right now. Someone shoved me while I was riding the train. Well, were you blocking the door again? No. Well, maybe. But people still shouldn't shove. It's rude. You should move to the middle of the train car and not block the doors. Why do you wait by the doors when there's room in the middle? Maybe you're the one who's being rude. 好凶哦 ！Maybe you're the one who's being rude. OK， 所以呢，这一题呃，三题呢是 A、B、B， 希望大家都有答对哦。那我们再听一次啊。I'm so mad right now. I'm so mad right now. 我现在好生气哦。Someone shoved me while I was riding the train.、Uh, someone shoved me. 啊、uh, ，shove 就是这个字啊 ，S H O V E. Someone shoved me. While I was riding the train, okay, 我在搭火车的时候，有人推我 ，okay. Well, were you blocking the door again? Well, are you blocking the door again? 是不是你要挡住人家的门口啦 ？Blocking the door again. 所以这题答案是 B， 对不对 ？No, well, maybe. No, well, maybe. 他说 ，Were were you blocking the door again? 你是不是又再次做这件事情了？所以他是。暗指他没有直接说 ，You were blocking the door again. 他没有直说嘛，哈。But people still shouldn't shove. It's rude. You should move to the middle of the train car. You should move to the middle of the train car. 你应该就是要移动到火车的中间嘛。And not block the doors. Why do you wait by the doors when there's room in the middle? Maybe you're the one who's being rude. Maybe you're the one who's being rude. So, so you know, say this is actually being rude. This is B. Okay. 好，那这边呢，我们有另外一个版本的，来听听看。I'm so mad right now. Someone shoved me while I was riding the train. Well, were you blocking the door again? No. Well, maybe. But people still shouldn't shove. It's rude. You should move to the middle of the train car and not block the doors. Why do you wait by the doors when there's room in the middle? Maybe you're the one who's being rude. Maybe you're the one who's being rude. Number fifty-three. Okay. All right. So this one is very clear. These three questions. All right. Maybe you're the one who's being rude. Okay. The rude person is you. Ah, two people first first give up. Not should. This is our lesson today. I'm Jian Teacher. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. 